Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the second. Uh, this is the second video in the third series that's dealing with selections in Painter 2023. Now, in order to talk about the new new things uh, around selections in 2023, I think it would be a good idea to go back and review a little bit of stuff that was in 2022. Okay, so in 2022, we had these selection brushes, and there were a whole bunch of them. You can make your own selection brushes as well. Um, I'm just going to select this hard brush, and what it would do is, oh, that's too big, so I want to make it a little smaller. There. All right, so what this brush does is it paints a selection, just like that. So I could come back in here and say paint a leaf that's part of this iris and once i've made the selection then i could fill it with another color or paint into the selection any number of things um so that was one thing you could do and remember in 2023 i can add the uh, uh, overlay as well and if I look at that overlay, let's go here, it's at 50%, which is about what I want. But I think I'm going to go to my lavender. Okay, and actually I saved that at 50, at 100%, and I'm going to bring it down to about 40. Now I can see through that. I've got my marquee and I can see through the lavender. And this is a good example of where, when you'd want to change the colors, because I might not want to work with lavender if this had a lot of lavender on it. Okay. So I've got a selection that I painted on here. It's just a plain flat selection. So if I added color to it, it would cover up uh, that area. Now let's get rid of it and uh, we're going to go over here to select and we're going to go to color select. Now when you go to color select you get this image that's inside of color select and you can take your little uh, tool, your dropper tool, and you can pick the colors that you want to select. And I'm going to pick that one right there. Okay, so now what you see over here, all the red areas are the selected areas. I can change the range of the hue. See if I increase the range, I'm going to get more of the white, but it's white, so it's not going to go too far. Um, I'm feathering it uh, just so it's not a hard edge. Now the saturation, I can increase the saturation, which would pick up and feather some of that out. The same thing with value, except value is going to take it too far out. So I want to, I think I want to keep the value down fairly low, about 5% probably, something along those lines. Okay, so now if I say okay, you'll see that I've got all of this uh, area selected, including some stuff down here, you know, because it's selecting the whole ball game. And even look up here, there's a few little dots here and there. So if I select a color, let's select this blue, and I go ahead and say edit fill, then I'm going to get that. Okay, so if I hide the marquee, You'll see that what I did is, or what I've done is I selected that white and I've replaced it with this sort of blue color. Okay. Now this is a nice digital way of working with your traditional type of paintings. But let's get rid of that. Okay. So I'm going to do that by getting rid of the selections. Oh, I need to get rid of the, I needed to do, not that, but this. Okay, I think I've got it all done now. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and you see this little round 
circle. It says enable color selection. I'm going to enable the color selection. And if I come right here, it gives me the color selection options. So the tolerance can be 7%, the brightness can be 35, smooth up the jagged edges, or whatever. I mean, you, you can make this any amount you want. So let's, let's just go 20. We don't really know what we want. And the brightness tolerance, let's take that up to about 70. Okay. Now, I can actually open up the color selection panel. And the color selection panel is down here. Up here is the selection panel, but we're not using that at the moment. So I've enabled the color selection, which I did there. And here's the color tolerance and the smooth jagged layers and all of that. So I have a brush. I've enabled all of that stuff. Now I can take this brush and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I can decide to do, ooh, it's going out over the distance. What happened here? Uh, okay, so what I see there is my tolerance is way too high. So I want to get rid of all that. And I'm going to take the color tolerance down to about, let's try 10 or 9. Still way up there. So let's bring the brightness down to about 25. And we'll bring this down to about 5. Seven's fine. We don't know really where it belongs. There we go. Okay, so now what is happening, based on the color to tolerance and the brightness, I'm actually picking up only what I start with. So I want to make this brush smaller wherever I start with it. And the reason I made it smaller is because the color it's going to pick up is right in the center. And I should have done that first because then I wouldn't have probably had to change the tolerance. But I'm going to grab just this white right here. And I'm just going to paint this section over here. And I think my tolerance might be a little bit too, not tolerance, but brightness may still be a little bit too high. Now I'm just going to paint over this area here. Um, I'm not going to go down where, um, you know, down here where, where uh, color selection was before. So what I've done now, and if I set that together, we'll also see the, the line. What I've done is I have, um, I have selected based on the color tolerance and the uh, brightness, just that stuff in there. So if I now go um, edit fill, and say, oh, wait, 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 cancel. I want to go, I want to bring this back up, and um, I want to be on layer four so I can make a difference. All right, so now I'm going to go edit, fill, and say, okay. Now that is a little bit full compared to what I was expecting, and that means I need to adjust my... Uh, my uh, flyers for the uh, color selection. But I'm, I'm going to first take this layer four and I'm going to reduce the opacity like that. And I want to take off my uh, uh, that overlay so that I'm, that's not bothering me. And then I want to, what did I just do? Uh-oh, my, oh goodness, this is always irritating. Let's see if we can fix this. What's happened is my, um, 
Ah, what do you call it? My pen has stopped working. So let's go to Wacom. And y'all will have to watch what happens here. All right, so I'm going to go to Wacom. I'm going to go to my Wacom tablet properties. And it says the ta ta tablet is not responding. Okay, so with a PC, I can type here services. I'm not sure if you can do the same thing with a Mac, but you probably can. Something similar anyway. I'm going to click on services, and then I'm going to go to Wacom Professional Services. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to stop the service. It was already stopped, but I'm going to stop it anyway. And then I'm going to double click on this, which will open this up. And I'm going to go to recovery. And everything is set up okay. Restart, restart, restart. I want to be sure all that's on there. Now I'm going to start the service. And so it is attempting to start the service. It's been done. And I can close this and notice that... Um, Let's go here, here, there we go. My Wacom Desktop Center has opened up. So now I'm back to using my, uh, my uh, uh, pen. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I mean, the, some of these things happen, and when they happen, I think it's a good idea to leave it into the video, and then you can see how this stuff uh, works. All right, so what we've done here is we've changed the color of that top stuff by using um, the color selection. All right, I'm going to get rid of that. Well, actually, we're at 12 minutes. I'm going to come back and do another one of those and see if I can get it more uh, where it's not covering the whole area. So we'll come back with the next video. Sorry about the glitch in this one and we'll come back in the next video and talk a little bit more about color selection with a brush. Alrighty, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.